I hope the devil doesn't call my bluff Cause Lord knows I'd be fucked in my learning again Happy Friday! Yay! It is the last Friday in April, you all. Is that, like, insane? It is. It's crazy. All right. So, before I start my fancy Friday, I just want to say a quick hello. I have to say hi to my two biggest fans. Daddy, I love you. And Judy, I love you, too. This is... Um, this is my tribute to my dad, and he loves it, and I do this for him, um, but I also do it because I love it, and I hope that you all love this too. If you're brand new, drop me a message or just say hi or whatever, and uh, let me know what you think of it. I also need to say hello to my Aunt Donna, to my best friend Lisa, to my friend Lindsay, and to probably one of my first friends in the world, Becky. All right, so shall we get started? I think we should, right? <laughs> well, I am Brenda, and this is Fancy Friday. And the very short of it is that Friday is a day where I dress up, get fancy, or maybe not so fancy, and show you what I am wearing. But there's another part of it that's a little bit long. So let's talk about that before I show you what I'm wearing. So back in 2020, I was really missing dressing up. I was missing going out too, but I was missing dressing up. And I thought, why can't I dress up at home? I mean, that's not silly, right? Especially when you weren't really allowed to go anywhere except to the grocery store or whatever. So... I went into my closet and I thought, let's get really fancy. And I found a lot of formal gowns that still had their tags on them. And I realized I was buying them, but I wasn't using them. But I loved them. And I was like, why am I not using them? And then it occurred to me, I'm not using them because I think I have to have a place to wear them. It seems really weird to wear them just to sit on your couch and watch TV. It seems very weird to wear them to just go grocery shopping, right? And then I thought about it. We really do that with a lot of things, not just formal gowns. We do that with our china, our candles. Candles a big one. You find candles that you love. They're so cute. They smell so good. And you wait to use them when you get company. Um, your tablecloths, your fine linens, you put the best on your guest room bed. Um, towels. You save the best ones for your guests. I mean, not everybody does all of those, right? But there's usually something that all of us decide is not meant for us. We bought it. It's ours. We love it. It makes us smile. But we only use it at a certain time. And I'm here to tell you that that doesn't have to be that way, and it shouldn't be that way, okay? You don't know when the next right time is going to be, right? And really, there isn't a right time, okay? Grab those candles that you love, turn off the lights, and bask in the candlelight and the scent that you love that makes you smile. Go down and... Put your beautiful tablecloth that you love on your table, bring out your best china, and have whatever you would like at the table with whoever you would like. Maybe it's just you. Maybe it's you and your cat. Maybe it's just you and your kids. Enjoy it. Enjoy the hell out of what you have. That's what this is all about, okay? Enjoy it. I am here to tell you, in case you do not know, tomorrow is not promised. <laughs> I can't guarantee there will be a, a tomorrow. I can only guarantee right now. So go out and use what you have. Otherwise, you might realize that you wasted all that time and you wasted money on something you never used at all. Oh, and let me just say, it is not selfish to use it. That, a lot of times we think that, like, I'm just going to use it for myself. I should save it. They'll get more out of it. That's not true. Not true at all. All right. Are you ready to see what I am wearing? It's not really fancy, but 
I just love this, okay? So it's springy, it's summery. You can call it whatever you'd like. I love the sunflowers. Aren't those sunflowers so, so cute? And I have a pair of, I don't even know if you can see them, cute little beige shoes. They're, I don't even know what you call them, clogs? Or they, do they not call things clogs anymore? Anyway. <laughs> um, but it, it would look really cute at the beach over your bathing suit just to throw it over. But it also looks cute going out. It is a little short. It hits me just a bit below the knee. Um, but I love the colors. I love the flowers. I thought I'd put a cute little flower necklace with it too. And you can wear your hair however you want. You can wear it up like I am so you can see your beautiful shoulders and see your jewelry that you have on. So I just like the cute kind of beachy, flowery, summery, spring day wear. <laughs> All right, now it's time to talk about my favorite things. Okay, so the first one's going to be a book, which I've been doing lately. This is a book that I recently finished, and it is called Everyone is Watching. It is by Heather... Gudenkopf? I think that's how you would say that. Um, I read this book in one day. So it's it's really a quick, quick read, a fun read. It's around 300 pages, um, but it, it was a fast read. So if you know me and my family, you know that we like to watch reality TV. And this was uh, pretty much about a reality TV show. Five people were sent invitations saying that they were invited to be a part of this um, reality TV show where they had to do some competitions and it's kind of like Big Brother, right? You had to, you knew that there were going to be cameras everywhere and it was going to be televised. And it kind of turned into a nightmare um, and there were, you know, you kind of, I think they kind of started to feel like maybe they were going to die. And that's probably how I would feel if I was on Survivor. Some of the things they have to do, but anyway. Um, the ending was... The ending was good. It, some might see it a little contrite, but I actually thought it was a pretty good ending. Okay? So I definitely recommend it. Uh, like I said, it's just a fun book. Um, and I like to, to read some really quick fun books uh, before or after I'm reading a really, really heavy book, especially if it's, you know, historical fiction about a war or whatever. All right, so this next one I bought um, on Amazon. I don't know if you can buy them anywhere else. It's called a cleaning sponge duster, and it comes in a two-pack. And they come like this, and they're pre-moistened. But after you use it, it's hard. This is hard as a brick, okay? So you need to soak it in water. And what some of the people recommended that I found really, really worked is you. I put it in a glass of water. I have a tall glass, and I stick it in there and let it sit there for like two minutes because it needs to be wet, and it needs to be fully wet before you use it. And like it says, it's a duster. These grooves work wonderfully if you're trying to get down into tile or you're trying to get into the baseboards. You don't need any type of a cleaner. You take this and you just brush it down there. You get down there and brush it and it gets just attracts all that dust. All that dust that you wish was not there will not be there anymore and it will just cling to this and it's amazing. I don't remember how much I paid for it. It wasn't very much but I was like let me try it because with cats and dust there's all kinds of crap down there oh in the toilet you know down at the bottom where that groove thing is right above like where the nut and bolt thingy is it just goes right in there and takes all that dust out and it takes the dust out around the little nut and bolt thing it just comes right off it doesn't leave any kind of a residue or anything it is amazing okay so if you're like me and you got lots of dust and dirt and cat hair everywhere and you get down there and you have a, a regular washcloth and you brush it and it leaves lint and it leaves a whatever, I have found the solution to that. So anyway, 
I love it. So check it out. Let me know if you try it, what you think of it too. All right. So Fancy Friday is over until next Friday, which will be May. So goodbye, Daddy. I love you. And Judy. And Lisa. And Aunt Donna. And Lindsay. And Becky. And whoever else watches, thank you for watching. Thank you for spending this time with me. I really do appreciate it because I know you have other things to do and I appreciate the fact that you sit and you watch this. I really do. I hope you have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend and I will see you next Friday.